Hey guys, and welcome back to Spyro. When we last left off, we were in the Magic Crafters. Now, oh, hello. Son of a bitch. We have a rude awakening. A rude welcome back to this realm. Uh, actually, you might as well take these guys out. So, ooh. <laughs> I don't even know we could do that, to be honest. Dodge around their attacks. I thought as soon as they attacked, we were, we were hosed. You little sneaky... Bastard. There we go. Okay. So, where are we heading next? We've done Alpine Ridge. We've done High Caves. Oh, shit. And I keep forgetting that we can't actually flame these guys. Let's go have some sheep. Nice. Right, I got this little bastard here. Well, he can piss off. Uh done the high caves uh, crystal flight we can come back to that one I really don't like crystal flight I'm gonna be straight up honest he uh, definitely is not my favorite flight mission <laughs> to be honest it uh, is probably my least favorite actually wizards peak did we not do wizards peak in the last episode I mean, I guess we didn't. So let's go do Wizard Peak now. This one's quite cool. It's a long, sprawling mission. Uh, I guess a lot of these levels actually roll into one, especially on this uh, on this world. I don't know why. I think it's because they have a very similar theme. Alrighty, now what do we have? Ah, oh, yes, Wizard's Peak. God damn it. Right, well, before we go that way, let's go this way. Now, this is obviously not the way you're meant to go, but this is kind of an annoying area. If you've never played this game before, and you've never played this level before, this took me a good amount of time to actually find originally the fact that instead of going forwards like you would uh, imagine you'd have to, you can actually go back out the window and find a hidden path, so to speak. Uh, oof, that's, oh god, oh god, mistakes were made, mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Well, that's an example of what you're not meant to do. Purely for science, of course. Purely for science. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Wow, we got 38 lives. We're good. We're gravy. It's all gravy, baby. Right, let's try that one again, shall we? Let's go right round the outside. Yeah, I remember very fondly, um, as a kid, 100%ing these levels. Used to spend hours and hours and hours uh, roaming around. Uh, these levels and they just felt so vast and it was always like a magical wondrous feeling when you found uh, a hidden path or somewhere or one gem that you'd lost um, and you had been searching for it for days because as I've said previously there was no internet you couldn't just look these things up if you were very very lucky a magazine might uh, publish some kind of guide but very rarely did it publish guides for games that you actually wanted all right surprise motherfucker i just like to note as well how wonderfully animated the enemies are they are gorgeously animated all right not bad so now we can actually start start the level Ooh. <laughs> as it's meant to be played out we are taking some ridiculous hits here as well which sucks but that's okay there are sheep on this level oh god hello especially the way those guys die and the way the cave the cave the cape kind of like uh falls to the ground or at least the robe Ooh. hey friends yeah, looks like we're going to find the first dragon of the level. Who are you, sir? Oh, I can hear bouncing. 
That sounds like a critter. Critters are good, because Sparks is feeling a little worse for wear. Jarvis. Pretty sure we've already rescued a Jarvis. Welcome to Wizard Peak. This is my favorite supercharged spot. All right. Use it to bash those wizards. Will do. Supercharge, you say? Well, let's go. Now, ooh. Ooh, sheep and a life. Nice. Well, I mean, it certainly is a <laughs> interesting spot. You have two superchargers that kind of like lead into each other. Hey, why not? Now, before we go any further, is there an achievement for this level? Wizard's Peak. Wizard's Peak. Terrace Village. There's actually a lot of... Uh, Achievements. Wild flight without touching the ground. Metalhead. Dreamweavers. Dark passage. Off to castle. No, okay, so. In that case, is there. Skill points. Blowhard. So, no, the next one is. Blowhard. Okay, cool. No specific achievements to grab. Sweet. Let's go. Look at all these wizards here. Damn. It's like the unseen university. All over again. Eh, 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 eh. Too fast for you guys. Nice. And that is no good. <laughs> this is where we're going to lose a hell of a lot of lives. Whenever we have to use super jumps, and we have to jump from said super jumps, we're going to lose a shit ton of lives. Mainly because I find they don't really work very well. They didn't work very well in the original game, in my opinion. And they sure as shit don't work very well here. Now, there's a very specific area you're meant to jump from. But I can never quite work it out. And obviously, we need to get over there. There's a couple of places on this level we need to use super jumps. Oh. So, that's one extra large headache for Spyro. All right, let's try this. There we go. 25 gems. Not bad. Totally worth it. Now, we've got a dragon there that we can rescue, but I want to get the super jump. Okay, so we kind of need to go. Oh, that was no good. You know when you hit the super jump just right, because Spyro will, like, do this magical glide. He just seems to get this mental burst of uh, speed but I can never just quite get that particular point and trust me I've spent hundreds of lives doing this over the last few weeks I even actually uh, spent a considerable amount of time on the switch trying to work out exactly where the point here is and it just seems random it's just, it's, I don't know, man. The game just seems to make it up. Now, some super jumps work really well. well let me demonstrate. Right, let's go this way. There we go. You can see we got the uh, aura around us. That works flawlessly well. Whereas others just don't. Anyway, we can worry about the hard-to-reach areas later. Let's go harvest up some gems. Out of the way, sheepy. Hey, not bad. We're actually making some good time on this level. Right, we're going to come back to that super jump. Let's go take these guys out. You could probably supercharge through these guys, but there's no point. Probably just get ourselves killed. Hexus. Well done, Spyro. Thank you for releasing me. Right, let's have a little look. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. You know. <sighs> 
I would imagine Spyro is going to be pretty immune to headaches after this. Ah, oh, you little bastard. You'd have to be by water, wouldn't you? Ooh. <laughs> you silly bastard. I can't believe how easy that was. I thought he was going to give us the right runaround. Well, no matter. Glad he didn't. Right. Give me the green and the blue. Nice. Ah, we have one more dragon. I think that's the last dragon it is. Oh, yeah. I was going to say there's another dragon egg to get. There is indeed. Uh, let's go around and flame you. We'll get you two. Right. There we go. Never chance it. Lucas. Listen carefully, Spyro. Ooh. There's a secret area in the artisan's home world near the waterfall. Yes. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan's home world? Waterfall. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. I mean, sure. We actually already know that. But, um, thanks, Lucas. So, how are we looking? We just need to get that one last jump over there. Why do I get the feeling it's going to take many a Spyro clone to achieve such a feat? And I need some more thinking juice. Ah, nice. Okay, so. Let's try this again, shall we? Maybe. Maybe we can power up by using both super jumps. That might be where we're going wrong. Nope. There we go. Maybe it was. Nah, it it isn't. It doesn't matter. They don't stack like that. There are certain ones that do stack. Right. Oh. <laughs> now, I knew that was going to happen. I could feel it in my bones. That was unfortunate. Luckily, all these enemies are going to come back. Wait. He had gem. He had a gem. Wait, what? No way. I don't believe that for a second. Why was he the only enemy that came back? Uh, guys. I think we found a glitch in the matrix. Seriously? When we die, all enemies are meant to respawn. Alright, well, I mean, I guess we can't worry about things that we have no control over. Alright, well, let's try that once more, shall we? Out of the way, sheep. Once more, we're feeling. So the jumping patch for here is right there. You would actually assume that. Hey, there's the secret egg hunt there. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, if he actually does run, but I'm kind of glad he didn't. Now, we are 14 gems short. Something weird is going on with this level. That's twice we seem to have some weird shenanigans going on on this game. Hmm. Not sure. Okay. So, we're missing some gems. Uh, we really shouldn't be, though. Let's go back and have a little look around, shall we? Oh, wait, hang on. Yes, we are. I know where we are. We're missing gems. I've gotten to do this. Right, let's go. Yeah, we need to get that guy there. Now, I believe... We can get that guy. Ah... I have forgotten how we get this gentleman. It's not... Ah, wait, hang on. It's 
not through that way. Maybe it's up and around there, actually. It could be. I think there's, like, another way that we can go. But I could be wrong. I remember, actually. I usually forget about this bit. It's not the first time. It won't be the last. All right. Let's go. Definitely looking forward to giving uh, Spyro 2 a proper go. Because, uh, as I've said... I've never really played those. I've played like, I don't know, probably about 20% of the first game. Yeah, we need to glide from down here, I believe. Or is it this way? Right, it's one of these ways, anyway. Let's go. Somewhere, if we look down. Yeah. Where are you? Where are you, you sneaky little bastard? It's not that way, because we've already come from that way. Pretty sure it's not... There we go. No, it's not. Hmm. Let's have a little look on the map. So, where is it? Right, so he's actually there on the map. Gotcha. He's got two loads of gems there with him as well. Two chests. Sneaky little git. Now, I know it's nothing to do with that ramp there, but it might be something to do with this ramp down here. Maybe. Huh. Right, one second, guys. Alright, so, turns out that I'm just being stupid. I actually do remember how to get onto it. Alright, this wizard's in for a rude awakening. Not bad. Okay. Now, let's get out of here. We've got all the dragon eggs. Yep, we've got all the dragon eggs. And we have all of the gems. So, time to fly. Ah, oh, supercharge. Man, it feels satisfying. <laughs> feels so satisfying to charge around at the speed of sound. Going all supersonic around here. Let's go. Not bad. 4,800 treasure in the bag. Not brilliant, but we'll take it. Certainly got some uh, progress still left to be made there. Right, so where are we? So that's Wizard's Peak done. So we've got Blowhard to do. Low hard and the flight level. Now the flight level I'm really not looking forward to as I've said. It is my least favourite flight level in the game. Uh, but you know what? Let's go do blow hard first. Just because <laughs> it's just for me it's more enjoyable. Oof. Right, he's around here somewhere, I think. No, actually I think we've gone past blow hard. Bugger. Alright, we've gone back to Alpine Ridge. Well, at least we're collecting some orbs anyway. I don't actually know what they're called. I still think these guys should actually uh, have lives on them. I've also noticed that they've updated OBS, finally. So when you pause the game, there he is. When you pause your recording, it actually tells you how long you've been recording for. Whereas before, it used to just have a obnoxious uh, flashing yellow pause script, which didn't really serve as any purpose because if you're writing down timestamps for editing, it just was massively uh, frustrating. Right, blowhard, let's go. Let's go confront blowhard. <sighs> Confronting blowhard. Wait a minute, we've got some objectives here, haven't we? Pretty sure we have. I love the way the colour palette of this game shifts as well, depending on where we're going. Skybox is a really nice as well. So, blowhard. Right. Let's get to work. 400 gems and only one dragon. Okay. 
Oh, you bastard. I didn't know they could shoot up, to be honest. Wow, look at how washed out this uh, colour palette is here. That's pretty damn cool, actually. Right, you're done, son. Damn, he really likes these lightning wizard guys. Ow. They're definitely a little bit more accurate than I remember. And there's Blowhard already. Just waiting for us. Right. <laughs> Look at him. He's just like a giant beard. Isn't it brilliant? Right, let's go. Cold blow hard. One down. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty pathetic. Listen to the music. There's something wonderfully enchanting about the music on this level. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Let's go collect up all these gems. And we have these annoying druids that like to shift the platforms all over the place. Well, that's okay. Oh, I'm having a headache with pictures. Ride a druid platform for 10 seconds. Does this count? I mean, that's fine. I can sit here and drink beer. There we go. Oh, skill points give you lives as well. Which we may or may not have discovered in a previous episode. Alright. So here's our dragon friend. Who are you? Altar. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You he looks have cool. no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And uh neither do I. <laughs> Who are you again? Oh god. Well, age is not his friend, is it? Is age any of our friends? Oh god. Right, you're done. Oof. Sketch. Not bad. Not bad. So Blowhard is over there. But before we flame his ass, let's collect all this. Wait. Ah, right, okay, so we've come full circle, almost. Got ya. Right, let's go give our friend Blowhard a lick of flame. I mean, they really phoned it in on him, I think, out of all the bosses that we fought so far, which have somewhat interesting attack patterns, with maybe the exception of uh, Dr. Shemp. But this guy is just really, well... Doesn't really try, to be honest. That was rather sad. Now, what we like gem wise. Okay, cool, we're done. That, my friends, is that. Nice, another 400 gems for the bank. Gatherer. Collect 400 gems in the level. Really? That was an achievement? Um, sure. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot more detail on uh, the loading screens as well on the Xbox compared to the Switch, which you'd imagine. All right, let's power Spyro back up, which I guess doesn't really matter too much considering where we're going. Oh, I thought we had a blue dragonfly then, but of course, well, we did have a blue dragonfly. I thought we had a blue butterfly. It was just sparks. It was being a little bit off colour. Okay, here we go. Right, my least favourite flying mission in the game. Oh, get that editor ready. That editor is me. <laughs> so, crystal flight. Wait, hang on. Is it crystal flight? Is this the one that I detest so much? Uh, no. No, not this one. Okay, cool. We might have already done my most hated one. Okay, that's cool.
Now I can't remember if we have to flame the fairies here. So if we can, we will. We might not have to. This might actually be the level where we're not allowed to touch the ground. Possibly. We're also really running out of time already. Which is not great, if I'm being honest. Oh, shit. Yeah, we've fluffed this one up pretty significantly. Yep, okay. <laughs> that went bad. That went bad pretty quickly. Now, um, actually, you know what we could do here? We could go for the planes. We could try and do this one backwards. Not sure how wise that will be, but we can try it. Really? <laughs> really? Oh, dude, we just totally flunked that. And that was going so well as well. And by going well, I, of course, mean it was going terribly. It was always going terribly. We never had that in the bag. All right, let's see if we can kind of redeem ourselves. Spoiler, I don't think we're going to be able to. Because we fucked it up way too bad, but... Hey, let's see what happens. Let's ride this out, shall we? Let's try and be optimistic for once. We've definitely missed the plane guy. Oh. That's all the chests. Now, if I was an arch, where would I be? If I was the final arch... Right. Actually, somehow, I don't know how, but somehow that worked. Not bad. Okay, I have no idea how we pulled that off. We totally went against the grain there. Still, doesn't matter if we win by an inch or a mile. Winning is most certainly winning. Sometimes you got to think outside the box. Right. Let's... Oh, God. Hello. Let's get out of here. We are done. Finally. I'm hoping if they do make another full-on Spyro release... They make it a little bit bigger. Or maybe, maybe if they don't make it any bigger, well, if they don't make the worlds bigger, maybe they'll have more worlds. Or maybe instead of different worlds, maybe one massive interconnected uh, giant hub that we can explore. Hmm. But then I don't really know how they did it in the original, uh, in well, in the second and the third game, so. You are most welcome, Tuco. Or although I don't really know why you're so invested. These guys dragons? I don't I'm think they are. For the beast makers world if you're ready. Would you like to go? Let's go to the beast makers. I like the beast makers world. Although it has my least favourite level in it. Which would be the treetops. <laughs> That's a very infamous level for sure. But, you know, we'll get there. We always get there. I don't know how many clones of Spyro we're going to go through, but uh, we've got about 40 in the tank. Wow, that took some loading. I always thought this level or this uh, this world was the odd one out. It's a very dark, very dark, ominous world with a very harrowing soundtrack, as you can hear. But, um, you know, it's got some really fun levels and uh, we're going to explore them. Also has some of my favourite enemies as well, these uh, metalheads. Yes, so the theme for this uh, world basically is electricity, liberal amounts of electricity. So, anyway, guys, when we come back, we're going to explore Beast Makers. Till then, thanks for watching.